As we all know that Jason and Lucia are the main protagonists of GTA 6. But what if I told you that there's also the third protagonist, which is basically this character named Kai. If you guys are wondering how, then this is going to be the right video for you. As always, if you guys want to see more GTA 6 videos similar to this one, then you guys are at the right channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe with the notifications on, and let's get straight into it. So first of all, let's talk about Lucia. The question is, who is the real life actor of Lucia. So apparently, according to rumors, and after doing a bunch of researches, I was able to find that apparently the voice actor of Lucia is basically this girl over here, which her name is Manny L. Perez. So here it says the trailer hints at Lucia as one of the main protagonists, though two potential actors, Manny L. Perez and Anna Esposito, have been proposed. The community is leaning towards Manny L. Perez now as the likely voice behind Lucia in GTA 6, driven by scenes from her previous works. So what they're saying is that people were speculating that the voice actor could either be Manny L. Perez or Anna Esposito, but now there's a high chance that Manny L. Perez is likely the voice actor of Lucia. She also has an Instagram account in which she posts like basically her daily routine, act, like activities. She pretty much like does gym. Now, of course, if you DM her some like reg regarding GTS or anything, anything, she is not going to respond to you because she knows that we are aware that she is basically the real like voice actor. So make sure you guys comment down below if you believe that this girl over here, Manny L. Paris, is the real life voice actor of Lucia. Now the question is, who is the real life voice actor of Jason? Now before we proceed, just to let you guys know as of a quick disclaimer that these are just theories or I'm gonna say speculations. None of these are confirmed until we hear more information pretty much from Rockstar Games. But of course these speculations are totally valid so that's why we're making this video. So after doing a bunch of researches, people believe that the real life voice actor of Jason is most likely Dominic Purcell, a British Australian actor. Dominic Purcell is a quite popular actor as he basically has played as a character in a bunch of popular movies. We talk about Prison Break, we talk about the Blade Trinity, along with Blood Red Sky and Killer Elite, and of course, many other movies. So, us as fans, we believe that basically Domino Purcell is most likely the voice actor of Jason. Dominic was born in England to a Norwegian father and Irish mother. At the age of two, Dominic and his family moved from England to Sydney's Bondi and then moved to the western suburbs. After trying his hand at landscape gardening, he decided to become an actor while watching the war movie Platoon in 1986. Due to his working class background, acting seemed a very unlikely choice of career, so he didn't pursue it until some time later. He studied at the Australian Theatre for Young People and then later enrolled at Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts where he met his future wife Rebecca and studied with Hugh Jackman. In 1997, Dominic scored a role in the TV series Row FM in 1997 and then landed a part in Mission Impossible 2 in 2000 which was filmed in Australia. He became a TV star. In 2000, he won the green card lottery and now lives in Los Angeles with his family. He was spotted by a US talent scout and has been working constantly with roles in the movie Equilibrium in 2002. The TV show John Doe 2002, Bad Trinity 2004, and the upcoming thriller Three Way 2004, and the new police television drama Strut. So in case you guys didn't know that a reliable leaker was able to leak the height of basically Jason and Lucia. So basically for apparently Lucia, it's going to be 5'3", pretty much 160 centimeters, a 1.6 meters. And for Jason, you guys can see it's a bit higher and it's basically 185 centimeters slash 1.85 meters. And in case you guys didn't know that the height of the real life actor of Jason, basically Dominic Purcell, is also 1.85 meters. It's literally the same. So this is also another proof for us to tell that 
Dominic Purcell is most likely the voice actor of Jason. I also came across some recent Reddit posts, which are pretty much interesting. I want to give a personal shout out to r slash GTA 6. They basically said, guys, I think I can now confidently acknowledge that my best guess on who's portraying Jason is Dominic Purcell, who has had a long history with the crime drama Prison Break and other crime adjacent films, some even with the Vice City's very own Tommy Versetti, Ray Liotta. Below are both pictures and audio clips that may add legitimacy to what I'm saying. Until the trailer 2 supposedly focuses more on Jason, we'll see how accurate this casting is. Best 42 minutes of my life. <laughs> you are barking up the wrong tree with that bullshit line, stud. Is that right? Mm-hmm. What's that? Nice. How'd you get so cynical? <laughs> Product of a broken home. What's your excuse? Mom and Dad died in a car crash when I was seven. I'm sorry. Don't be. What doesn't kill you? You know, I really miss hanging out together. Having a few drinks. Well, it's because everyone picked up your bill. I could have claimed you as a dependent in college. <laughs> I'm just saying we took care of each other then. And then we didn't. Come on, guys. College doesn't last forever. You're free to get married. You hear that, Kira? We're free to get married. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Just <clears throat> taking me home. Home? It's like 8. It's 11. I got work tomorrow. Anyway, this place is closing. All right, how about we go someplace else? A bar? How about a cemetery? Mm-hmm. Did I mention I have work tomorrow? No, serious, guys. I mean, since I missed Steph sooner, I thought it'd be cool if we went back, you know, together. Mm-hmm. Kira? I don't know. It's cold and about to rain and a cemetery isn't that a little weird no what's weird is we haven't been in the same room together for years and the best we can do for dev is to have a few drinks sid you know what guys i didn't miss dev's funeral because of work i just didn't go you want out of this you tell me now before it's too late you do this with me nothing will ever be the same you'll never be the same you gotta know that it wouldn't be right if i didn't tell you that it's your call. Let's go. Why did you come here? We're all going to pay for this now. He saw everything. He did nothing. Don't you text her! Shut her up! Every time you stood at this sink and looked out at that black container, you knew! And you did nothing! <laughs> nothing! I don't... These people took two years of my life. My life. You wanna get sympathetic, Kevin? Don't shoot someone in the stomach, it hurts like hell and it takes too long to die. The time up. They also said, note, Dom just like Jason are both 6'1", sharing features such as blue eyes, similar wrinkles, Crowd speed, for example, brown hair, hairline, and thick eyebrows, while also sounding like both the 2022 Diner Robbery leak a bit, but definitely for trailer one. I wanted to do this the first few days of the subreddit hitting 1 million, but looking for materials to truly make this was surprisingly difficult as most of Dom's movies are hard to find. So you guys can see as well here this image on the screen. We can basically see the comparisons of Jason in trailer one and as well as Dominic Purcell in real life which is likely going to be the real life voice actor of Jason. We can, we can see basically the hairline is the same, the eyebrows, you know. I mean not everything has to be the same like 100% but if you guys take a look at the images if we do like a quick comparison we can actually tell that they both look like similar right. So yeah this is also another proof. I also came across these uh, posts on Reddit, so here it says, I love Dom in the Arrowverse, especially when he was given more to do than just be a permaniac with a heat gun in Legends of Tomorrow. So him being Jason in 6 would be dope, but I don't think he is. He's been in other stuff recently, including the Legends show as recently as 2021. Didn't Roger Clark say that he was working on Red Dead Redemption 2 for years? I don't see how Dom could do the Legends show at the couple of movies he's done recently along with GTA 6 at the same time. Here it says, 
Wasn't the dude from LA Noir on Mad Men regularly before and after the release of the game? Exactly, working on shows doesn't help mocap work. Here it says, this is that kind of out there, don't think Rockstar are keen on bigger names being a main VA anymore, but it's also a good theory that it may just be possible. If so, I am here for it. He is not a big actor, his own role where he was big but not that much was Prison Break. At the DC show, and even then, I don't think the masses remember those shows outside of crime drama fans and DC fans. Clarification, many of Dom's movies are relatively lost in the media. The only way to view at least a decent amount is through shady websites, sadly. He is British, Australian though, no hate towards him, but could he play a Floridian? Or is Jason British, Australian? Also, another problem and this one isn't as stupid sounding as my first. But Dom is born in February of 1970. This would make him 54 years old. I don't think he might be a little too old for the role of Jason. He did play a character in the movie Breakout 2013 who had a southern accent. He mostly plays American characters. Elio, Sean Fantino was 45 playing Franklin, so it isn't far off. And to be honest, Dominic is way more capable athletic than the cast in 5 as he serves, boxes, and runs. Hell him and lose his actor presumably with many are the most athletic GTA actors. Nope, people keep ignoring that Jason has a higher voice in the leaks, it just sounds a bit lower in that one word in the trailer. Definitely placeholders, the guy presumably voicing Jason in the leaks already voiced a main character, the guy from Midnight Club LA. Rockstar isn't reusing another main character for another main character if that makes sense. Also, the VA for the Midnight Club protagonist does voiceover work for NPCs as well hence why I can objectively conclude that considering it's an alpha build is placeholders. Both Metzger and Echeverry, Lucia's alpha voiceover, were prototype actors. So these are all of the informations that we know so far about Dominic Purcell potentially being the real life voice actor of Jason. So now we discussed about the real life voice actors of both Jason and as well as Lucia. So the real question is, who is the third protagonist? Again, that is not confirmed, it's just a speculation, but of course it is totally coming from reliable sources. So I'm sure you guys have seen this character in the trailer like pretty much twice. First of all, we saw that he is basically playing with their phone, right? The later one we saw, if you guys like pay attention, whenever he was handshaking with another guy. And in case you guys didn't know, that there's also a footage in which basically uh, there's like basically like a leaked footage in which the game developers are basically i'm gonna say play testing this character which of course for copyright purposes i unfortunately cannot share this clip in this video as i don't want to risk for my video to get removed but of course if you guys search it up on youtube or especially on twitter or reddit you guys will definitely find it now, as you guys know that GTA 5 has three different trailers. We talked about for Franklin, Michael, and as well as Trevor, the three protagonists. And for GTA 6, as of now, we know Jason and Lucia. But in this video, I also want to confirm that Kai, this character, will most likely be the third protagonist of GTA 6. You guys know that in the first trailer of GTA 6, the trailer was mainly focused on Lucia. And in the second trailer, there's a high chance for us to see the introduction of Jason. You know, Jason getting featured in the trailer. We just like want to get, you know, like, I'm going to say get to know Jason a bit more. You know, like more cutscenes. It's going to be exciting. Now for Kai, it might be in the third trailer. Of course, as of now, we don't know whether we're going to be seeing the third trailer or not. That's not confirmed, but the trailer 2 is going to happen. And if you guys want to know of when is it going to be happening, then feel free to click the link in the description as we talked about everything that you guys need to know about the trailer too. It's coming out very soon, of course, but in this year. So check out the video if you guys want to know the date. Just check it out. You're not going to regret it. So guys, for Kai, I believe that this will most likely be the third protagonist. As first of all, we said already that it was spotted in the trailer one twice. Whenever he was, you know, doing a handshake and then we saw he was playing with the mobile. So we saw it twice. And this is also being basically play tested by the game developers and they also want to make sure that this will be a playable character that's right according to reliable sources guys rockstar is aiming for this character to be a playable character that's why i want to make this video to let you guys know that other than lucia and jason 
Kai will most likely be the third protagonist, or I'm gonna say the third playable character. Now, of course, we're not sure if we're gonna be having the third trailer for GTA 6 or not, but for trailer to like I said, guys, it's coming out, so stay tuned. But with that being said, that's pretty much gonna be for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or if you guys want to add comments, feel free to comment down below. Your support means a lot to me. We are trying to get to 1k subscribers before GTA 6 comes out in early 2025 next year. Like if you guys want to see more helpful GTA 6 videos, like pretty much like this video, similar to this one, then you guys are at the right channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe with notifications on. And in case you guys didn't know, I also have a Discord server. So if you guys want to, you know, like communicate about GTA 6, just join my server. There's a link in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next one and take care of y'all.